The trip out west concludes at 2-2. Two two. Knicks will be at Brooklyn on Wednesday to conclude the five-game road trip. What does it say about this team, Wally, that they were able to win this game? I think it's a big win. To just get a split out west with a tough schedule against some really good teams, I was really eyeing this Laker game as kind of the barometer game. I figured coming into this uh, trip, the Knicks would have gotten one of the first three, which is what happened. It ended up being Phoenix, which I thought it would have been Utah. But at the same time, if they could get this Laker game, get a split, outstanding effort. They've been in, uh, in, LA, in L.A. for three nights already. They're staying tonight, flying back tomorrow, getting ready for that game in Brooklyn. But it just shows the, to the professionalism of this team. They were out there on a business trip. The fact that they were, you know, had a day off yesterday, they went back in the lab, they corrected some things on the defensive end of the floor, and then had monster efforts by multiple players that were not just out there on vacation. They were out there to get a win, to have a good trip, to win basketball games. That's what Tom Thibodeau's teams do. They hunker down, they get it done on the road, and that is a massive win for this team. Each of the team stars played well. I mentioned Randall had 27 and 14. Brunson had 29. AD for the Lakers had 32 points. LeBron the triple-double. Knicks closed the third quarter on a 15-2 run. So they go into the fourth quarter up 10, and they were able to hold on on the road and close this out and get the win. That's what it's all about. And you feel a lot more comfortable this year, I just think, in the fourth quarter with the way Brunson and Randall are playing down the stretch. Both these guys can create offense. The Knicks are getting good looks at the basket down the stretch of games. And both Brunson and Randall are playing outstanding basketball. And Isaiah Hartenstein, what a performance with 17 rebounds. I mean, Jalen Brunson can get a shot and a good look in the fourth quarter whenever he wants. Uh, Anthony Davis was a beast. We thought he would. He dominated the paint. He had 32 and 17. But LeBron James, he had a triple-double, but he missed a lot of makeable shots. And right here, LeBron James trying to get his team back into the game. That cut the lead to four, so it got a little hairy down the stretch. I thought this was a huge play. Only four seconds on the shot clock. Great inbound diagram play by Tom Thibodeau. Gets that three for Randall over Anthony Davis. And then here on the fast break, Julius ran a little cherry picking, gets the easy two. That kind of sealed the game down the stretch. Seven point game. Uh, Randall and company ended up making their free throws and taking care of business. But that's just a big win. It really is because there were all kinds of built in excuses. You know, you don't have your center, you're struggling on defense, you go out west, you have three days in LA, you kind of are hanging out in la la land. But at the same time, this team hunkered down, got ready to play, got ready to get a big win. Now they head back home for an interesting game against Brooklyn. Feels like they're back home, but they're really not. They're playing a, their arch, uh, their, their crosstown rivals. So they got to pay attention to that one and try to get that one too, if possible. Worth repeating about Hartenstein. Career high, 39 minutes. Mm -hmm. Career high, 17 rebounds. Jericho Sims hurt his ankle on the opening tip, so yeah. he hardly played. Taj Gibson just signed, didn't play a lot of minutes. So it was all on Hartenstein, and he came through in more ways than one. You got the great game from Julius Randle, 27 points. 14 rebounds. He was really good throughout. 43 minutes for Julius Randle. And you just goes to show you the Knicks are thin up front. And Tom Thibodeau, he needs to play as guys that are going to produce. And Julius Randle produced big time. And he's been producing for the last, last couple weeks. He's been in some rhythm. Again, 12 for 22 from the floor. Only attempted four threes. Made that one big one that we just showed late in the fourth quarter. But he has not been letting defenses off the hook. Look at the way he is pounding people using his strength, using his physicality, taking the ball to the basket, getting it done in the paint, in the post, where he has just been outstanding. This is the big three over Anthony Davis that pushed the lead to seven, under four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That was a huge play. And how about the rebound? I mean, he's been great on the boards. He had 14 big rebounds in this one. That's a little icing on the cake finish. Julius Randle has been steady since a rough start to the season. He has played outstanding basketball once he got his legs under him off that offseason surgery. All right, Wally, let's now bring in Monica McNutt. Help call the game on ESPN Radio and 98.7 FM. Monica, the big pregame theme was how are the Knicks going to improve on defense, giving up an average of 132 points per game over their last six, and they held the Lakers to 109. How'd they do it? Well, 
I'm just so happy, guys. <laughs> a great <laughs> win. Um, okay, so I thought they did a great job of flying around. And one of the things that stood out to me is you could see a level of focus in terms of the scout, both offensively and defensively, particularly in that first quarter. How many times were the Knicks aligned flatly in their man-to-man, -man, though, and they got to the corners where they were deflecting passes that LeBron and AD like to make? And so in addition to that, I thought they did a great job of closing out at the three-point line, of scrambling after plays were being made. And you mentioned it. You guys were just talking about the rebounding. Rebounding is how you finish a possession defensively. You end it for the other team, and they were terrific on the glass tonight. I'm with you, Monica. That defensive effort from the beginning you could see in the first quarter, they had more energy than on the back-to-back -back against the L.A. Clippers. I thought they were outstanding, flying around, making things difficult. It did help that Torian Prince went three for 13. Some of those were open threes, but when you find a guy that doesn't have that rhythm, let him shoot. And LeBron mm -hmm. missed a couple layups in there, don't you think, Monica? He didn't look quite like himself. He did get to a triple-double. What did you think of LeBron's game tonight? Well, you know, so, okay, on that note, though, Wally, they didn't put LeBron on the line until I believe it was the third quarter, if not the beginning of the fourth, which I thought, again, was impressive. And there was a point in the ballgame where I was like, okay, he does look like a 38-year-old, but that is to be expected. I actually bumped into Dave McMiniman, who covers the Lakers nationally for ESPN, and he talked a little bit about the fatigue factor maybe being a thing for these guys. They're on, a, on the road a bunch, not just this month, but to finish out the calendar year. So I think you're going to have nights like that. But the other thing for the Lakers, that's why you put all them guys around LeBron James like Torian Prince isn't a guy that has the luxury of going three for 13 and being considered effective as a member of this squad in terms of his role but that part of it for me is neither here nor there I have to give Julius Randle Isaiah Hardenstein all the credit for the way that they were willing to step up the challenge and defend physically AD and LeBron who are two specimens in this league Monica are you looking forward to coming home <laughs> I'm so ready to come home I mean I love it and all but I'm so ready to go home <laughs> Well, have a great, great trip back, and uh, we'll see you on Wednesday, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Uh, see, now that is an example of how you feel at the end of a road trip. But the fact that the Knicks, they band together, they want to get home, they've been away for a long time, it's been a tough trip. But the fact that they still took care of business and got a much-needed win, that's what makes this team so special. All right, Knicks get that win, and they're now 15-11 and 11 on the year.